Oh my. It's a, okay, get the frick. Why? Ah, it's a lovely day being on the stinking poopy railway. Uh, I, I don't know what the frick is going on here, but I, I guess I'm here. I, I, I don't know. Oh no! A crash! Ah! Yep. Got something new to show. It's 2.49. My clock is fixed. This clock is fixed. It's no longer a two minutes ahead, finally. If this was two minutes ahead, it would have been like 2.51. I don't know. Just guess. Anyways, uh, yeah, review, I guess. I don't, I don't know. More trains, I guess. I don't... <laughs> so, you've seen my trains before. You've seen them all. You've seen what the frick. I put them in. Here, I got a new engine. I built this. And, uh... Well, it came from, uh... This. There's the engine, if you're wondering. That's what it's supposed to look like. Yeah, m marinate. Oh, yeah, this is from Lego. Uh, I'm not sponsored by them, so reasonable. Oh, yeah, for apparently this is Lego set 11001. And conveniently enough, there was a diesel, a diesel class with that number, and there was only one produced, and that only one got scrapped. Conveniently, it was the same numbers. One one zero zero one. What the frick am I doing? Oh yeah, I forgot. Review thing about J. So basically, when making this, I realized this thing got no tender. You know, ev look. Every time I have like a model that just like, you know, it's just like, hey, uh, here's the locomotive. For an example, like this guy. If you're wondering what these, if you're wondering what I did here, I just put like paper and like tape on it because. So like the the official Brio company doesn't like come break down my house and uh, murder me, and uh, put me in the workshop to make products like uh, quite good products though. This is, like, the only product I have from Brio. It's, like, the official Brio company. Oh, it's on... It, yeah, it's kind of the same for here on the bottom as well. I kind of... Yeah. So, I kind of covered, like, the uh, the Brio logo on some parts so I won't get uh, copyrighted. Okay, why am I talking about him? Oh, oh yeah, what was I saying about him? Oh, yeah, Tender. So anytime I have like a model that I build and it doesn't have a tender, for an example, like this guy, I'm like, okay, I got to find a tender for him. And then like, for him, and then like, oh, hey, here's something that could be used as a tender. And hey, it works as a tender. Yay. A locomotive has a tender now. Woohoo. I, I don't know why I built this. I, I just... I, I, look, buddy, I don't know. Oh, yeah, if you're wondering, well, okay, yeah, uh, if you're wondering, yes, this piece is at, that piece that I'm zooming in is gray. And no, it's not some light blue, it's actually just this, a charger thing. My phone is at a pretty low battery, that's why. So, uh, that's kind of reasonable. Oh, yeah, if you're wondering why the smokestack isn't black, like, as a picture intended, uh, I lost the pieces to that smokestack. I have this piece that was similar to that, the black smokestack, but apparently I can't find it and find the bottom base of it because it was a cylinder. I don't know. And I kind of did up with this. Oh, yeah, the dome looks different because reasonable and hey i gave it a whistle and of course for some reason a blue tender look i didn't have enough green parts to make a green tender so blue is going to do 
don't mind the top part. And don't ask why there's just this one bit of yellow here. I have absolutely no clue why is it here. But I'll just but just ignore it for a while. I'll just put you somewhere. Or should I accidentally drop you? Anyway, uh, oh yeah, the funnel. Uh, uh, oh yeah, some of the parts that are weakest are like the funnel, smokestack, funnel or smokestack, dome, cab. Uh, you know, I'll make a bit about it in one second. No, -uh. the frick you mean no, -uh. no, -uh. that did nothing. That still kind of did not. I genuinely don't know why I did that. I, I, and yes, the cab fell apart, and uh, I, I gotta rebuild this. Great. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Just. Great, and it's pretty easy to rebuild this. Uh, There's not that many parts of whatever. What the frick? I might even talk. You know what? Whatever. I, I, I don't know what am I doing anymore. I just I'm wasting my time existing. I need to do something productive than you know, stop existing for more for like a month and then come back for something pointless. Anyways, back to the review. Uh, I recently got this one from at like a uh, Hob Hobby Lobby. That that's the store, and this is the engine. Yes, it's made of wood. And no, it I it didn't come like this. I paint. I colored it with the marker, as you can obviously tell with the details on how it looks and how the frick it looks horrible. And I didn't know what to do with this part. I thought it looked like a dome, so I kind of colored it like orange. Because yellow wouldn't work, I guess. Oh yeah, I wasn't sure if this is a tender or not, so I just like... Oh wait, this is flipped. So this is engine number seven, the tender. Uh, oh yeah, there's more to it. Just... Let me get it real quick. A uh, log car and passenger car. I call it pass car because it could have fit the word passenger. I, I don't know. Just. Oh, yeah. For some re for some pointless reason. It fits on Sheggington tracks. I'm sorry if it's blurry, but there's the engine, there's the track, and of course it fits on it for no absolute reason. Uh, do I? Oh uh, yeah, I'm not gonna question why I have this miniature microphone, but okay, I guess. I don't. Uh, what? Why is this tangled? Oh, why am I... Okay, I, I don't know. Oh, wow, I'm gonna go here. Wait, should we be... Do the funny bit and derail? That wasn't in plan... That wasn't planned. That's better. I don't know how I landed. That's yeah, better. <laughs> what the frick am I doing? And yeah, that's kind of just a review. Well, I guess I'm gonna go on a two-hour rant of why, uh, why Rule Thirty Four ruins everything. Woohoo! I guess it's time to do the funny. Oh shoot. Oh, shoot, it turned blue.